Good morning, everyone. My name is Paul, and I am a nerd, and you are not. Because if you were, you wouldn't be here because you would know everything like I do. But since you're here, let's talk about Legal Anywhere Connect. Now, I'm sorry. I, I did something wrong, and I, I got the title right on the first screen, but not on the second screen. What we're looking at today is Legal Anywhere Connect, and it is a product that takes among other things, it takes your World Docs documents and allows you to, uh, one by one, or group by group, uh, send them to a portal where people that have been granted access, clients, opposing counsel, anybody that's in a, uh, in, in involved in a deal, anybody that needs to see them from outside the firm can see them. Now, it does a lot of other stuff, and, and Katie Leach is with us from Legal Anywhere, and she is going to show it to us. Um, but, uh, and there is another product that she's going to kind of hint at, and we're going to have another webinar or coffee pot webinar about. But today we're looking at the ability to take these World Docs documents and put them in Legal Anywhere Connect and have people be able to see them. Without any further ado, I am going to press the magic buttons that will make Katie Leach from Legal Anywhere. The presenter, I'm saying this slow because I don't normally do it this way. We don't always have a special guest like we do today. And there we go. Katie, you can show your screen and you can start telling us a little bit about yourself and Legal Anywhere and Legal Anywhere Connect. Great. Well, I'm going to assume that everybody can see my screen. Um, and I can see it. That's really okay, all that wonderful. matters, right, Leanne? <laughs> okay. Take it away, Katie. Okay. Okay, great. Well, thank you, Paul, uh, for inviting me to participate in the webinar, and thanks to all of you for attending, too. Uh, before I get started with the demo, I'd like to give a little background uh, about us, Legal Anywhere. We are located in beautiful Portland, Oregon, and it's a little bit early out here. It's only 8-11, and uh, we were founded in the late 90s, and we were the first company to come to market with collaborative software specialized just for attorneys. And we're the market leader in this space today, and we have thousands of users using our system worldwide. And, as, and what, what's made the product so successful is that we only focus on law firms. And as we go through the presentation, I think you'll really appreciate the legal focus of our product. And our clients range from firms of all sizes. Uh, we've got a few solo practitioners using the system, up to very large global law firms, and everything in between. And we have several products today as Paul had mentioned, but today I'm going to, or excuse me, we have several products, but today I'm going to just focus on Legal Anywhere Connect, our secure client portal, but we also have a turnkey intranet solution called Firm Connect that helps law firms centralize internal information like IT help desk tickets, um, those check requests, employee directory, etc. And it also automates routine tasks and processes and it comes with uh, built-in workflow and intelligent forms with no software development required. As Paul mentioned, please let me know if you have any questions. I like an interactive demo, so please fire away. Don't be shy. So this happens to be one of our many clients, and this is their public web page. And down here at the very bottom, you'll notice this says Extranet. Some clients will even brand this and call it Client Portal. It's totally customizable. So they added a client login to the, to the extranet. So when a client or other external participant logs in, they would click on the link, and it pulls up a proprietary login screen. And as you can see, Richard's Kibbe and Orb, that the system is integrated into the firm's branding rather than just sending uh, one of their clients to some generic tool. So I'd like to now get into, here we go, oops, let me get it back in there, sorry, because that was a, a live site, I don't have a username or password, so I'm going to jump quickly back into my demo site. So what you're looking here at is uh, Williams Faulkner, this happens to be a fictional law firm, and if your firm were to license the system, Legal Anywhere would brand it to look just like your public web presence with color schema, artwork, logo, et cetera. And branding's very important from your client experience standpoint. So when a client logs in, they feel like they're part of your web presence. So when you log in, 
the system knows based on your credentials what cases you have access to and what content you have access to within those cases. And I'll talk a little bit more about the item level security in just a moment. So from a navigation standpoint, it's very straightforward. As a user, I have access to the different workspaces the firm has made available to me. So each user only has access to the, mat to the matters that you give them. Down here at the bottom of the page is a list of the matters that I've been given access to. And there's also email notification for every feature of the system. And what this means is that users, whether they're lawyers in a firm, clients, or whoever uses the system can be notified either immediately when something occurs on the system, like a document has been posted or an event has been scheduled, or as most attorneys prefer, the system can also send out a summary at the end of the day, outlining all activity in the cases that you're involved in. And this can be user setting based on uh, your preference on how you want to be notified, even if at all, on a case-by-case -case basis. And a lot of firms find the what's new useful. So when you, you or a client logs in, you can see at a glance what's been added to your cases or to this particular case since the last time that you logged into the system. So I'm going to jump into the Water's Edge corporate matter. And what you're looking at here is a customizable splash page. And this is used to display important information for this matter or this case. So your firm could easily put a client's logo and maybe an overview of what you're doing for them. And you can also give um, the client the context of who they'll be working with. And also some law firms use this as a marketing tool. So when they're trying to get a new client, so you could quickly set up a matter, you could brand it and you use it during a presentation. And it's a really nice touch for the client and it differentiates your firm from other law firms. So based on your login credentials, you'll see what content and capabilities have been turned on and what you have access to. And you can use as many or as few of these features to make each matter proprietary for each firm's client. And I have them all listed here today just for demonstration purposes. But again, you can turn them on or turn them off. It's totally up to you and what your client needs. And I'm only going to talk about a few of them today as well. So the navigation bar shows some of the capabilities you have within a matter. And this is extremely customizable, meaning you can, uh, for example, change a uh, calendar to maybe key events or discussions to case blog. And again, you can turn features on or turn features off. It's totally up to you and what your client needs. So I'm going to jump into documents here and I'm going to spend most of my time on this feature because it's the most commonly used feature of the system. So from a security standpoint, we offer enterprise-grade security, which is why many law firms have selected us. And from a security perspective, security can be granted down to the item level. So what this means is you can give access to a workspace, but control what they have access to within the workspace. So every participant could have a different level of access depending on the role. So for example, you might have a client that you want to give feedback and provide editing on a document, or you might have another user with view only and no editing function, but they can download the file. So I think you all get the idea. There's a lot of control, view, and uh, collaboration on a document within our system. And then our, at our highest level of security is what we call secure documents. And this allows you to lock a document so it can't be downloaded, it can't be copied, saved, or even printed. It's watermarked, as you can see in the background. And then you also may notice that you see my name um, in the background with a date and time stamp. So the system also keeps a record, it also keeps a record of um, any changes to a document in what we call view history. So if you wanted to see, say, a previous draft of what changes, here's the different versions of a document of different versions, you would just uh, mark the uh, checkbox here, come down here and click on compare versions. And then the system would run a quick red line between the two drafts. And then you can also view, um, uh, we also have a full audit trail so that you can see who has looked at the document and sometimes more importantly, who has not viewed the document. So then you can quickly send them an email right here from the system. I'm going to pick on Jessica and uh, ask for any feedback on a particular document. So a quick review of the, different, of the three different levels of security. So you can click on one document and render an HTML for a quick review, or on another document, you'd have full editing privileges. Yet on another document, you'd have, um, it could be locked down, uh, it couldn't, you couldn't download it, copy, save, 
or even print the document. So to get a document into the system is really easy and we've got several different ways to add documents because you might have cases in which you want clients to add documents and other cases where you do not. Again, you can control who can add content or just consume content. So if a client has been given access to a document, they would come down here and they would click on this Browse button and then a Windows File Manager pops up and then they choose which document that they want to upload to the extranet. And then again, if they're, um, if they're uh, those, for those uh, people within a firm, they could actually choose uh, from their uh, DMS system, uh, which, which uh, so they click on this, and then what would happen is that the system would um, open up and launch, and then they would just pick uh, which documents that they would want to upload to the extranet. And also worth mentioning is that the system has integrated metadata scrubbing capabilities that will scrub and remove metadata within a Word document before it's uh, uploaded. So Legal Anywhere has full integration with uh, the leading document management systems like World Docs, um, iManage, and OpenText right out of the box. And I'd like to show you um, our integration with World Docs. I don't have it downloaded on my computer but I can show you quickly how it works through this little demonstration. So you can replicate and synchronize to World Docs from within the World Docs client. So here, I would right click on the document I want to send, and then I would choose Client Portal. And once I do that, a client side wizard pops up and knows what uh, cases I'm involved in and knows what file folders I have access to and I can upload an unlimited amount of documents, and I, then I can decide if I want to notify my clients via email. I would hit Finish, and the documents are uploaded. And also within World Docs, it shows an audit trail of the documents that were uploaded to the client portal. And this is gonna show that here really quickly on how easy that is. And we also support drag and drop in the browser and this will be available with our next release uh, sometime this spring, actually. So what I just showed you is World Docs initiated on a document-by-document -document basis, but this process can also be um, automated. Are there any questions out there regarding our integration with World Docs? If not, I'll continue, and I'll, uh, since I've got a few more minutes, I'll just show you some of the other features of the system. Okay, great. Any questions? No, not so far? Okay, maybe, maybe they want to save them for later. One of the other features that we have is called our calendar feature, or some people might call this key events. So um, the calendar allows you actually to share events and documents that are tied to a case, so external participants or your clients can view it. So right out of the box, there's a utility that lets people grab events from the Outlook calendar and quickly publish them up to the Legal Anywhere portal. And then what they would do is they just click on this key import events button and it brings up Outlook and then they can select which events that they want to share uh, or that you want to share with clients or other external participants. And you can view on a case by case basis or view all the events you have with all your matters. And again, this is based on your security access. So if you don't have access to an event, you won't see it on the calendar. It's all color coded and you can also attach a document to an event. So if you have an outside counsel or even a client and need a document for a, a specific event, you can have that document attached to the event. So when the event occurs, they would have that document available to them. There's also a tickler system, and based on your user setting, you can be re reminded prior to an event. And then quickly, I'd like to, um, one more feature. It's, it, this is our discussion. Maybe some people might call this a um, case blog or even a secure forum. So this can be used for those sensitive cases when you don't uh, want emails going back and forth. So when you click on the expand all, this is a quick way to view the content and a message in the tooltip just by hovering over the message. And then if I click view all, this will give you a printable transcript of the, of the full discussion. And you can also link documents in a case blog. We have several other features within the system. We've got a search feature. We have um, an app builder which is um, basically allows, uh, gives firms the ability to spin up 
custom workflows for a particular area or practice um, or even customize for a particular client. And it gives um, law firms databases or workflows or even intelligent forms with no software development. We have contact information that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, these are all the members in a case. Um, and then you can just uh, quickly send an email within, within the case. We have notes feature that's uh, like a virtual whiteboard. It's a great place to put static notes. Uh, we have surveys. This allows you to develop online surveys for whatever reason. Some clients might use this to automate the client intake process or even develop a survey that might be used to identify where additional clients might be added. And then, of course, um, tasks. Um, this is kind of like a watered-down project management software for those that like to use tasks within Outlook, uh, which we have integration with, with, rather, and they might find this feature useful. So that's um, the demo at a very high level, as I mentioned throughout the demo, it's all about customization and unparalleled security. And once your firm is set up, you'll have the ability to really, really tailor it to meet your client's needs. And that's it. Any questions? That's, that's, that's awesome. Um, now, from a nerdy standpoint, you mentioned you called this earlier, you called this an extranet. Now, mm -hmm. you have another product that, that is an inter, intranet product. What's, what's that called, Katie? That's called Firm Connect. Firm Connect, gotcha. Mm -hmm. And so for those who may be interested in sharing information internally in, uh, in a sort of an in, intranet sort of basis as opposed to sharing it externally with uh, co-counsel, opposing counsel, the client, whoever, uh, we will be doing another Coffee Pot webinar specifically on that topic um, somewhere in the future, probably in the next couple months. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, were there any questions? Did you find any in there? Leanne is shaking her head no, so I will, I will uh, <laughs> convey that. Now, um, okay. Katie, um, if anybody needs to get a hold of you uh, directly, can you flash that contact information back up? Or, or I guess that was at the end of the video that we had that. Um, so what we'll do is uh, we'll have our video producer put contact information for, for both me and um, and Katie at the end of this so that if anybody needs to contact her, of course you can always get a hold of me, everyone knows this as Paul.Purdue, like the school not the chicken, which is P-U-R-D-U-E, at attorneycomputersystems.com. And while I'm talking about that, I am going to take control back from Katie and end by showing everybody how to get to this content. Hold on one second. You know what, I think I made, uh, yeah, I made uh, Leanne the presenter. So Leanne's going to show her screen and she's going to go to Google Chrome and she's going to go ahead and click on show your screen. There we go. And she's going to go to Attorney Computer Systems and we're going to take a look real quick at the content that is available on our website, including these Coffee Pot webinars. So if we go to Attorney Computer Systems, of course, remember the emphasis on this little letter here, because that always throws people off, attorneycomputersystems.com. If you hover over videos or click on the word, you'll get to a, a different page. But if you hover, you'll see our Coffee Pot webinars, of course. That's where we are right now. Uh, we have uh, three virtual user group meetings, the uh, tabs three, Practice Master and World Docs virtual user group meetings. These four things are our live events. So if we click on Coffee Pot webinars, uh, when we do it now, we're going to see uh, this webinar that we're attending right now, because that's where you find registration information for the next webinar. Uh, and we do not have Maze up yet. That's because I'm behind in getting the information to Patty. I'll take the blame for that. But as you scroll down, you will find recorded versions of every other webinar we've ever done. And the same is true for our uh, virtual user group meetings on tabs, Practice Master, and World Docs. And then we also have some uh, pre-recorded uh, videos, uh, the eBite video series and the Paul and Mary Jo show. The eBytes, Mary Jo records three of these every month, one about pra Practice Master, one about tabs three and one about World Docs. And we also have the Paul and Mary Joe Show, which is our longer format TV show type of 
uh, recorded, pre-recorded video where Mary Jo or I will take a topic in great detail and get into it. Uh, in fact, if you're, you're interested, I think you can go back as far as maybe two or three years and see me bumbling through trying to demonstrate Legal Anywhere, which is why Katie's here today, because she does a, a much better job of that. So everybody, thanks for attending today. And uh, again, if you have questions, it's paul.purdue at attorneycomputersystems.com. We will see you next month. And I think it's either next month or in two months that we're going to talk about uh, Firm Connect, which is the intranet product from Legal Anywhere. Everybody have a good day. Thanks much. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.